Welcome back everybody to Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden and uh, let's see, okay, again just woke up about 30 minutes ago, so let's get this started. Fortunately boss, you can't fight these guys, although I would love you to, although you are doing your job and I thank you for that boss, taking hit upon hit, and they can't do shit to you. May have to have you, may have to have you use guts though next turn. Hmm. Yeah, probably will. Just to get everybody a little more time to attack. Maybe not. We'll see. Again, I'm just thinking out loud. Literally. 8,000 HP. Should be within range for another thunder break. Oh yeah, he's gonna have to use guts. Hey, but at least they all attack the same thing for once. And the rest should be easy as... A good whore. There you go. You won't hear that analogy used anywhere else except by me because I'm highly inappropriate. Yeah, I'm kinda curious. What was my accuracy before this? All the dual sensors. Go for it! Ooh, hit! And it hit. That yeah, kind of be expected. Like anybody could freaking miss the iron gear, let's be honest. This fucker's bigger than Titan 3. Let's see. Yep, this is definitely rag. Only one with like one bullet left. Just for the sake of her actually doing very well this time around, she will get an animation for her last bullet. Then next turn, if it doesn't end, then I'm probably going to have to use, focus on her and try and finish it off with punches and kicks. Oh my, there's no freaking way I'm going to stop there. Yes! Thank you, Miss Rag. Thank you, Miss Rag. Although, yeah, funny enough is that uh, when I originally woke up, I wasn't really going to record that away, but I realized that, again, I talked to Sol for a little bit on Facebook, but... This is the only time I'm really going to get anytime soon because of baby and all that stuff. So I'm going to take full advantage of it. Let's see. Gear on up here, buddy. Do it. 8%, that's not bad. I didn't think those boosters would help him that much, but... Gun damn it. Alright, boss. Spirit. Guts. Oh, I love you, buddy. Nope, nope. Naval missile. Here, forget it. I know you could take a hit like a master can. So here. Let's finish this quick. I don't want this episode to go on too much longer anyway. All right, just be safe. Yeah, I don't want to waste a turn, especially with Great. Let's go, Great Mazinga! Kick some freaking ass. Also, the next stage is actually going to be the uh, road split, if I remember correctly. And I made sure to make a little note on a note, or an actual sticky note. I'm supposed to head to Fort Servant. To make sure that I'm still going the counter route of what's been happening with the, the co op that I'm doing with Sulphur. Well, I think it's going to be pretty interesting. We'll see how it turns out. And thank you, Great. Damn you, Rock. Let's see now. June, if you would be so kind as to help out. There you go. Thank you. Now time for him to get in a cheap shot. Let's see what we're doing. There you go, alert. Let's see. Yeah, Seventh Sword. What the weekend <laughs> Sorry. Oh my. Got him out. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I'll just use the Chodinji top on him then. Weaken him and then next turn, swoop around and F him in the A. And I'll move boss too. Hopefully they'll swarm him still. 
because they know that these two are going to F them in the A hard next turn, if not finish them off. <clears throat> Especially if they're stupid enough to attack them. Good boss, good boss. I'm just thinking, he's going to have, yeah, he's going to have 150 by now, which he does. I'm glad that, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it works on reels and everyone else like that, too. I haven't really thought about it until boss. <clears throat> Interesting enough. I'll actually try that out next time. And I'm curious though, with supers, even if they dodge you, do they still get that uh, one extra? Let's see. Wrong button. Thunder break! 6,000. Hmm. You girl. Focus. And see if you can weaken any of these guys a tiny bit more so great can get an extra kill. No, you cannot. Damn it. Let's see. How about you, Jiron? Oh, better mobility. Ah, uh, true. I don't think he'd jump in the air to punch and kick him. Oh, Maui. I don't think I like that accuracy. True alert. There we go. Now at least two will die. Let's see, 8,000. 6,000. There we go. Now let's see, I'll probably have bolts kill that one and I'll have great go for the other. Just with a rocket punch or something like that. So then the final one, which will probably be this one, will get both of their special attacks one after another. Heaven Sword, Heaven Sword V Slash. Yeah, just be safe. I don't want to waste the spirit. Well, do I really have to worry about that now? Come on, Kipachi, strike. There we go. I don't know why I'm still thinking, there may be one more in the back of my head. I'm like, well, it's not. No, it's not. So now let's enjoy. I know at least Sulphur will like this. Because he's more of the Volts of Evian. As opposed to me, combatler all the way. Even though I think Dimos was supposed to be part of that one romantic trilogy thing. Dimos is pretty badass though. Although I'm pretty sure he's... Oh yeah, he's not in this. Well, again, using him? I'd like to see a special move one day with him and uh, Domo. Or at least see those two fight each other. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. But come on. Slash. Would it be V or 5? I don't care. I can't give a rest ass about being correct. Yes! <laughs> Stupid moon race. Don't you know you will never survive on Earth? Your real robots with crap loads of HP and decent defense won't do jack against the super. Especially, like, great. Let's see. Atomic Punch. Here we go. This should be just enough range. Make a Drill Pressure Punch. Go for it, great! Haha, oh, yes. Instant kill. If it hits. Surprisingly enough with a weird story, when I was playing MX, actually I had a 99% chance of being hit. I think it was with, uh, when I guess when I just got like Mazinger. And for some reason, the enemy missed! It's the first time that I've ever had a 99% miss. Like an enemy trying to hit me. Needless to say, I thought it was weird. I'm curious. Iron Gear doesn't really need any HP, does it? Just so she can at least get some experience still. And yeah, 15, not bad. Drag right up here. There we go. Wait, what two you get? Oh yeah, the Iron Gear and the Boss War. <laughs> yes! The fool's wasting his turn. Ah, uh -uh, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna finish this with a thunder break, no doubt. 
have to be someone else to not want to finish it with great. Or at least story based. Like the whole thing with Jiron and everything. He should have been the one to get that kill, regardless. Again, it was his enemy. There we go. And now the f coup de gras. I'm trying to think, he doesn't have Valor yet, does he? No, he doesn't. But he does have gain! And strike! There we go. Hold on. Just to be safe, I want this to be a real kill. Spirit, my Gumi. There we go. Alert. There we go. Chain Knuckle. There we go. Oh. Oh, shit, my damn it. There we go. Now we'll have great the honor of finishing off this SOB. Original is thinking great booster. No. Alright, here we go. Great! I don't think he's gonna get much experience, but either way, it's doubled! Come on, come on, come on. And I would get goosebumps when I hear his music. I mean, he's one of the only supers that can do that to me. He probably ever will. I'm curious on the damage. 5,000. 5,000. Oh. 6,000! Yes! You always surpass my expectations. That's why I love you, Great. That's why I love you. Hey, money. That was good. Ladies and gentlemen of the Iron Gear, good work. We've confirmed the enemy's withdrawal. You can do what you should... You can do what you should have now. What we should have? He means the blue stone payment. Texas. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that in all the mess. I'm opening the dome gate now. I don't like this. He could call us in and then guess from behind. Oh, that sounds so wrong coming from you, Broom. Especially with the way you look. I swear by the innocent that I won't show such discourtesy to our benefactors. Fine. I got some questions for you too. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. Don't go making decisions on your own. Eh, uh, miss, you regained your composure. Okay, Belle. I, Elish Cargo, respectfully accept your gracious invitation. What's this? You're in pretty good shape for all that brawling earlier. You be quiet. I'm the captain here. Jiron, no objections, right? <laughs> well, my parents are avenged. I can live however I want. I'll do as you say. Jiron. Then I'll open the gate. Follow our guidance if you would, please. Alright, Belle. Wink. Yay! I'm kind of curious though. Why does it say parts there? Do we get something special eventually from uh, skill point? Huh? <coughs> What's this smoke? It smells like medicine. I is this some kind of sterilization process? Shh! This is the ritual for, enter for entry for the sanctum. And that is the door to heaven. Yeesh. I can only pray that it's the door. It's not the door to the real heaven. Yeah, but the way they describe it, it seems like it. Huh? This is an innocent city? Oh no, this is only the place where we can enter. I was expecting more like a warehouse place, since you said it was a payment point. But it doesn't look like any town I've ever seen. Still, it's nice to see how there's culture and aroma in the air. I can tell what you mean, but how to put it? Isn't this more like an aroma of falsehood? Why would you? Why would you? Why would it be like that? This place has everything! Like Tetsuya in a badass purple and pink outfit. It is true, only true men can pull off that color. Yeah, it resembles cities from our time. Actually, it looks most almost exactly like inside of a space colony. 
Yeah, especially how he seems isolated from the outside world. Between this and the Ascension of Light, I'm getting the impression that they're using technology made from space development. That Ascension of Light could have been... Bleh, that Ascension of Light could have been... An, in case of an attack by those earlier guys. The Frost Brothers. Oh, mother... Hubbard. Sorry. I thought I had it off. I guess not. Okay then, Jiren, Tetsuya and his group, I'll go meet with Bell. What about us? Just look around this place for a bit. This place is... This place here is to teach people like you the wonders of the culture. Don't forget that this is the same people who tried to make us fight Vic... Make us and Vicman fight. <laughs> Damper on your spirits. First, allow me to thank you for protecting P-Point from the Moonrace's attacks. Moonrace? That's the name of the guys with those strange machines? Yes. To the innocent? No. To all of those who dwell upon this land, they are enemies. The moon race? The people who live inside... The people who live on the moon? Yes. They've antagonized those who live on the Earth since long, long ago. Hmm. Long, long ago, huh? I've got no idea how many years has passed since then. But they must have been... But, but that must mean that they're still fighting between Earth and the space. The moon that floats up in the sky? How could people live there? <sighs> it may be hard to believe, but it's the truth. Of course, if you say so, or if you say as much, Sir Bell, I believe you. I'm sure you have much to ask, but I'd like to ask you a question of my own first. Where on earth did you irregulars come from? From Earth Sierra S E one eight seven. S E. I've never heard of an era named that. Has he figured out that we've come from the past? You seem ver well versed in this Earth's history. Could you mind telling us about it? Unfortunately, I cannot. Eh? The reason is because the majority of the Earth's history is sealed away. The ones allowed to open the pages of the Black History are director class citizens. Black History? Pretty pompous sounding name, isn't it? What on earth happened to our time after we left? I'm assuming it went to hell without any peeps, without the heroes to protect everybody. Could this ruin the earth as a result of the shockwave hitting the earth? I'd like to make a deal with all of you. A deal? Yes, if you accept my request, I'll provide you with all the information, gold, and basic necessities you need at no charge. Hold on there. None of us other than Elise trust you completely. Jiron! Elise. Even, yeah, even you should have figured out by now that these guys are the ones pulling Temp and Vicman's strings. Yeah, they gave new weapons like the Potent Cannon to us and, Vic and to Vicman, and then arranged it so that we'd fight each other. <coughs> Sorry. How would you care to explain that? I apologize on behalf of my men for the frivolous doubts they've given you. Frivolous doubts? The truth is, the request I'm about to discuss has to do with my men's actions as well. Okay, then let's hear about this request of yours first. It's simple. I'd like for all of you to join the fight against the Moon Race. S say what? The reason I sent Victman after you, all of you, was to test the new weapons developed for an upcoming fight to ensure that you built up some real combat experience. Just as I thought. So was Temp killing my parents something else you guys set up? No, it wasn't. Temp was a liaison for Vicman. Uh huh. So let me get this straight. Since you fought, since we fought against Vicman and won, we get to be the innocent's chosen soldiers. Is that how this works? If you'd like to think of it that way, yes. What reason would you have to fight, or what reason will we have to fight for you guys? It's perfectly re that's a perfectly reasonable question. The moon race is a grave threat to those who live upon the Earth. We innocent have been preparing to fight them, but their technology is far superior to ours. What happens if we don't take you up on your request? I won't force you to comply. You may continue to work as couriers if you like. What's the plan, Elish? Could you give us a little time to think it over, Sir Bell? Very well. I shall provide any information needed to or to 
to order making this suit. My tongue gets tied quick. Say what? You want to cross the ocean in the iron gear? That's right, that's Sir Bell's request. But but isn't it against the innocent laws across the ocean? Hey, what's an ocean? Let's see, in simple terms, it's a big, infinitely wide pool of water. A pool of water? Something bigger than an oasis, oasis spring? Yup, you got it. But come on, rumors say that there aren't even any blue stones across the sea. There's no gain going to a place like that. Plus, it's obvious the innocent are using us. Only a sucker would take them up on their deal. <clears throat> it's not like they're ordering us around or anything. That may be true, but according to Sir Bell, there are also... There are all major couriers and breakers are already crossing the ocean. And we can't get a hold of gold and basic necessities anytime we want without paying bluestones. That does sound awful tempting. Still, we've got no idea what these moon race guys are. But I don't want to fight with people like that. Jion, what do you think? I agree. I think we should accept Bell's request. What? Why? I want to know what the innocent's angle is in using us. And I'm getting the feeling that the answer to that is somewhere across the ocean. It's out of character for you to sound so serious. Well, I guess it's okay since you're avenging your folks. How about you guys, Tetsuya? Based on what Bell said, our friends should be on the continent across the ocean. So I'd like to search for them if I can. And if you want to confirm whether or not the director Bell says is correct, then we should make some sort of contract with, or some sort of contact with this moon race. I want to know what the deal is with this black history too. And if we find that out, we might learn why we came here. Yes, and we have to find a way back to our original world too. Well, huh, looks like it's settled then. You sure about this? It sounds fun enough, doesn't it? So, Alish, where do we cross the ocean? Where are we headed? Sir Bell said for us to head for a town called Fort Servin. Well then, we can just head there. Hold on a moment, please. I think it'd be completely dangerous to trust the inno I think it'd be dangerous to trust the innocent completely. Shouldn't we head to Fort Servin after assessing the situation across the ocean and learning more about the moon race? This man makes a good point. Let's see, don't go directly to Fort Servin. Head directly for Fort Servin. There we go. No, I believe Sir Bell's words. Cosette, prepare the iron gear for departure. Roger. Da 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 da. <clears throat> it seems the iron gear has departed for North America. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes, sir. But we didn't Fort Servin without causing any problems. Whether they do it or not, they if they cross the ocean, they'll be almost certainly come into contact with the moon race. After all. Their aim is to get control of that continent's soul sunbelt region. Like soul sun. Let us hope that the results is the military gain Kashim desires. I want to test the civilians in accordance with the innocent's original doctrine. If we hold up the law, we'll maintain complete control. But if that were to slip, isn't exact isn't that exactly what we innocent should be aiming for? You mean all it is to fall from the seat of power? The time has finally begun to change, and mankind is finally growing up. But that could be a bad sign in these times. Continue to keep an eye on them. Sir. Blah 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 blah. You put in your play because you're a little bitch and nobody likes you. But you like pudding. Alright, again. We're done with this chapter, and we're gonna be starting a new one with the road split. And thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I do making them. Bye-bye.